Hi, my name is Roberto Tomarquio. I'm with the Autodesk Technical Support Team, and this video is called the Perfect Blend Variation. To produce this video, we'll be using Autodesk Alias Surface 2010. This is an overview on what I'll be showing today. I'll be showing a different method to solve a CV all inconsistency. Um, we encountered with the Perfect Blend video that my colleague uh, Matt Ralph did, yet using the same principles uh, to build a stylized blend. Dear Matt, uh, I've been following your uh, Perfect Blend tutorial and I think it's great. Um, so I was trying to practice myself uh, in the situation that I have, but I ran into a problem. So I'm at the point where I have uh, my curves uh, with the same primarization. So I have a six degree curve here and six here and my theoretical six degrees. So I w I'm going to skin them. Okay. And then I'll turn on the CVs, but um, I ran into this problem here. Uh, as you can see, my CV structure, uh, the holes is not nice and straight, even though the curves, um, you know, the polarization of the curves are six degrees. So I've been trying to um, think of different ways of fixing it, and I, I came up with a solution. I know some people might run into this problem, so what I'm going to show you is. Um, a different method or a variation on um, how to deal with this situation uh, if anybody runs into it. Here we have um, those two same surfaces and all I've done is uh, project the curves onto the surfaces again. So we're still going to follow the same principles that Matt did. Uh, we're not going to build off um, a curve on surface and we are going to build the fillet uh, to the uh, theoretical intersection. I'm just going to make sure that I'm using um, the Katia V5 construction options. Okay. And uh, what I'm going to start off is um, creating a 5 degree curve. And now we're going to use the align second. There we go. I'm going to select this curve and we're going to change that to 6 degrees. Okay, I'm going to select the curve and copy it. We're going to move its pivot and move it down here. I'm going to use the um, stretch tool uh, to snap this curve to the curve on surface so it doesn't disturb uh, the CV uh, layout of the curve. Okay. We'll go into side view and we'll straighten out these CVs. So I'm going to pick the CVs and by using the control and the right mouse button and clicking beside this one it should straighten them out. Okay so I have them that nice and straight in that view and in this view here I'm just going to move them so they're close to the uh, curve on surface in the y direction. So just one direction there. They don't have to be right on. I just want them kind of close to that. All right. So we're going to skin it now. Select the two curves. And turn on the CVs. So as you can see here now, I don't have that uh, crazy CV um, going in different ways. Now they're nice and straight. Uh, halls are nice and straight. And now I can uh, continue uh, to build the fillet. So what I'm going to do now is uh, de delete those curves and the curve on surfaces. And I'm going to go into side view and we're going to use the regular align tool. Okay. We're going to use the project option. So I'm going to select the edge and we are in the Y direction and we'll align that. I'm going to change this to seven degrees and this is pretty acceptable. Okay. And we're going to do the same thing in top view. So we'll select the edge and now we are in the Z direction. We'll click on here 
and now they're both positional. Okay, and uh, now we're ready to uh, build uh, our fillet. Okay, I'm gonna just gonna save the file, and let's move on. Section two. In this section, we're going to create the blend surface. We'll be using the skin surface to create the blend. We'll then use the prop mod tool to snap the surface to the theoretical intersection. Okay, so in order to uh, build the fillet now, uh, we're going to use the same thing, um, the same procedure that you did, Matt, the same workflow. Uh, so we're going to select the surface, change that to 4 degrees. Uh, we'll delete these locators. And I'm just going to duplicate the edge of um, the skin. Okay, and also the edge of the theoretical. So we need the curves and the surface, and we'll hide everything else. We'll just make the hulls and CVs um, invisible, so they're not in the way. We're going to side view, and we need to change the degree of uh, this curve so it matches uh, the skin. That's seven degrees, and as you can see now, um, the uh, CVs don't match, so we're just going to do that manually. So we'll pick the CV and we're going to move it by using the control and middle mouse. We'll just line them up now manually. Okay, that looks good. I don't need a curve anymore. We'll make this visible and now we're going to use a prop mod tool okay so my preceding uh, minus V is to 1 and the succeeding minus V is 1 so we select the middle um, CV and we just drag and snap it to the other one this is fairly quick to do There we go, it's done. I don't need the curve anymore. Okay. We'll make everything visible. And now we're just going to align it. But before that, we need to delete the construction history. All right. So I'm going to go into side view. And we're going to pull up the align tool. And we're going to choose edge align. We'll select the edge. Okay. But we want the vector on and we want it in the y direction. Okay. We'll do the same thing for the top. So edge align. Okay. This time we want, we still want vector and in the z direction. Um, and I'm just going to move this to 5. It's probably going to need another CV there. And that's very good. Okay. So we're just going to trim it now. Delete uh, the locators. And we have our... Um, our fillet. Nice highlights and it looks pretty good.